Hi. There comes a time in everybody's collecting journey where they outgrow the space their collection is in. And for me, this came a lot sooner than I originally expected. So, what I've done is I purchased a brand new one of these black bookcases I've put up in my bedroom. We're going to move all of the books, the actual like novels and stuff, we're going to move all of those upstairs, which gives me a brand new shelf and a whole wall full of manga. So I thought, I'm going to take you along for the ride. We're going to reorganize, clean, and reset up the manga collection. Without further ado, let's go. So a lot of the manga that I currently have is actually where I want it to be. I don't think any of these series are going to move. However, as we come further down, some of the series I've actually got new volumes for. So I need some more space for those volumes. And a couple of the other series like Tokyo Ghoul, I'm gonna move over and I'm gonna highlight some different stuff on these levels. <laughs> We're gonna leave a gap here because there's more B-Stars that I wanna pick up and also Dead Dead Demons is a series that is not complete. So for that reason, we need this space here. So there's one simple solution. Just turn one of the volumes on this side. Perfect. I instantly changed my mind and I feel like there's gonna be a lot of that this episode. I need to give volume 13 a break of being on its side. So I'm gonna try and find a different volume to put on its side and I, I found it. Perfect. The same logic applies for the Vagabond volumes because the volume itself can get kind of bent if it's on its side constantly. So we're gonna try and change it up a little bit. Volume seven is now the highlight of that shelf. Now down here is where the majority of the changes are going to happen. We got some series here on the bottom shelf like Tokyo Revengers that I definitely want to showcase. And then potentially Prison School because I really like the spines. I think the One Piece volumes are probably gonna stay where they are. I'm gonna Gonna move one punch down potentially move tokyo ghoul like i said before and then these dragon ball box sets i want to bring those up a little bit we've also got this brand new series that i purchased recently that's currently on the bottom of the novel shelf so potentially that's going to move too it's all about finding space for the stuff that i want to purchase as well as the stuff I already have. And there's a lot of it. Okay, I think the next step now is to start emptying this shelf and moving it upstairs. <laughs> I think I've got an idea of what I want to do with these shelves. So the rest of my collection has really been like the best series are at the top or in my opinion, like some of the most awesome series. So let's continue that trend on this shelf. Now there's plenty of series here that I haven't read that I don't think I can put up here just yet. However, a series that I'm really freaking enjoying is Tokyo Revengers. And I think that's gonna look super dope at the top, especially next to the Blade of the Immortal spines, which have their own cool like flowing design. Tokyo Revengers is very reminiscent of that. So I'm gonna do that. Now Tokyo Revengers is gonna be a longer series and I'm getting every single volume as they come out. So it's gonna be a case of picking something to go next to it that could potentially move. So I'm gonna go with Goodnight Pun Pun and all of my Inyo Asano works. It gives this up area up here some space to grow with Tokyo Revengers and the rest of Dead Dead Demons. Hopefully that will lead me closer to the end, but we're gonna put a series in here for now, just for the time being. And I'm thinking maybe that series should be Tokyo Ghoul because they're the same size. But then I kind of want to put B-Stars and Tokyo Ghoul together because they're very similar colors. I'm going to put B-Stars at the top, but I'm going to change it around. This is where we have to hope that they fit perfect. Okay, that works for now. This can go there as a placeholder. That shelf's done for now. That shelf's done for now. Let's do a Fujimoto shelf. Fujimoto's also got some one shots coming out. I think one of them releases in October. So let's get Chainsaw Man and Fire Punch up here as well. Remembering that in the next couple of days, I'm gonna have two more volumes of Fire Punch. Chainsaw Man and Fire Punch. Dope. 
I feel like Vinland Saga is gonna need its own shelf at some point, but for now, it can go there as a placeholder. Two more Fire Punch volumes, more Tatsuki Fujimoto in general, and then more Chainsaw Man when they come out. This one's gonna change a lot, but for now, I'm gonna leave it because there's a lot of movement room. And I think the next couple of shelves, we're gonna keep kind of low key so stuff can move around. Now we're back over here. Now I don't know if I wanna keep them in their box sets, but for now, I really, really like the art. What's on the, how does it look on the inside? We're upgrading them to out of box. Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Do I, do I like it? I mean, it kind of flows. Like there's two Shonen Jump shelves here. We can go with that. We'll go with that. Okay, we've got some space next to Jojo's that I'm thinking might be perfect for our new pickup, which is Blue Flag. There's still a couple of Blue Flag volumes to collect. So that's not complete just yet, but we'll leave it as it is. I just got to think of some stuff to fill this gap now. I think, I mean, that can go there. Hell's Paradise can go there. All you need is Kill can go there. I don't even know if you can see me. Moving along to this shelf, a little bit of space. So the Promised Neverland can pop in here. Haiku is gonna go with the Haiku volumes, obviously. And then I guess Mob Psycho can go in here. Well, really, Mob Psycho should go next to One Punch. That would make more sense. Okay, I think that shelf is done. I still have like a bunch of stuff that I don't know if I even wanna keep. Trigun. The cool volumes of Monster because I don't want to put them at the top just yet. I have a volume of Parasite, but I'm literally about to get the hardcover edition, so I think that's just gonna go on the sell pile, along with a lot of this random stuff that I got in one of my pickups. So now we're moving on to this shelf. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put Prison School up here. Have I read this series? No. Will I like this series? No idea but the spines look cool. <laughs> so these are gonna stay here and then we're gonna move Haiku up one and that gives us basically space there. One, two, three shelves of space. It looks like Haiku is all gonna fit on one shelf, which is super cool because if I like the series and if I decide to keep it, it's gonna look really nice on its like shelf on its own. I hope so anyway, it needs six or so volumes to be complete. And I guess this shelf can then just be the kind of selling shelf, stuff that I'm not sure about, and uh, room for movement in the future. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the manga collection reorganized. There's a lot of room for movement. There's gonna be a lot of changes in the future. For example, more JoJo's is gonna take up more space. Berserk is still releasing. My Hero is still releasing. And the kind of Fujimoto shelf is constantly going to evolve. But I'm super happy with how this turned out for now. However, you may be wondering, Leon, it's spooky season. Where's the spooky? Well, we're now gonna make this whole collection spookified. So how are we gonna do this, you might? Well, I bought some stuff from Poundland, including pumpkin, two pumpkin, some cobwebs, some spooky pumpkin lights, a skeleton, and some scary balloons. So let's spookify the collection. You sing a pretty song. So there you have it, everybody. The manga collection has been reorganized and cleaned, and we've got a brand new shelf, and it's been spookified. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be alerted every single time that I upload. I hope you've enjoyed the manga reorganization. It's not a video that I've done before, but hopefully I've done it justice and made it a little bit entertaining for you guys. And yeah, you would have already seen this spookified manga set, but, but I've had a lot of fun putting it up. I just freaking love the spooky season. <laughs> if you want to buy some manga for yourself, make sure you head down to those links in the description that you can use to buy yourself some manga. And at no extra cost to yourself, it supports the channel massively. It allows me to buy stuff like this to decorate for special seasons. And it also means that I can carry on doing this and do some awesome new video ideas for you guys. Very much appreciated. And every single one of you that's purchased through my links, I love you. Thank you.
Thank you everyone for watching. My name's been Leon. The support recently has been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.